Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, November 25th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Unsworth for Longmont Public Media, and Thanksgiving is upon us. After that, after your turkey's done, we do have a full moon on Sunday. So again, we are having full moons right at the end of the month. The pattern will keep on going for a while. It takes a while to drift backwards through the month. Taking on the drought, we're still only in, well, severe drought, that sounds bad, but severe drought around Longmont area. We've had some rainfall and snow down south of Pueblo and regions like that. Mountains are still really bad, and if you go from last week here to this week, it's gone a little worse down in the west and the eastern plains but not much. Temperatures are cool, so evaporation rates are low, and we have had at least a little moisture, so things are kind of holding steady. Looking nationally, the long-term drought is expanding across most of the west. We have all the way down to Arizona, out to the northern California, now into the northern plains. For the precipitation for the last seven days, we did see half inch to an inch in, of water in the northern central mountains and in places uh, out west uh, right around Denver. I uh, got around half inch to 0.7 inches similarly um, well Boulder did too. Longmont got missed a little bit with only about a quarter inch of liquid. Looking at the snowfall though over the last seven days is really just this end of the weekend beginning of the week storm. We had about an inch and a half of snow around town and Boulder as usual did better with about three to four almost five inches of snow on the diagonal highway there. Looking at the pattern right now Wednesday sorry it says Monday but Wednesday we have a ridge right over the state, giving us some warmth. We have this trough approaching from the west and a departing low out here in the Ohio Valley. And looking out to the next 10 days, even though that trough passes on Thanksgiving, there's just a very small chance of rain or snow Thanksgiving evening. It's our turkey. Uh, normal high temperatures drop from 48 to 44, and normal low 21 to 18. You can see the predicted temperature on the ensemble here is right in the middle of that envelope. We have normal weather, just normals happening. Looking out at the beginning of December, there are chances of showers on some of the runs. Nothing really coherent. It's kind of something around the second and third here, but we'll just have to keep an eye on it. There's no strong signal for a snow or rain event in the next 10 days. So let's take a look at the interesting patterns that are going on, even without moisture. We have a cutoff low rolling by on Thanksgiving, going right through Texas. We probably have some severe weather down here. We have a trough passing on the 30th, beginning of next week. Then we get a warm ridge, followed by another cutoff low that sinks down into Arizona. And there's a cutoff low that's actually going backwards, but with the other systems down here, it's just not a way to get moisture up to us. So here's another cutoff low coming down to the west, going out to the 5th and the 6th. And it's kind of backing up to the west. So really interesting pattern. Um, just wish it meant some rain and snow. So over the next 10 days, very meager amounts. Boulder might see a dusting to maybe an inch, and the mountains a little bit of snow, northern New Mexico, a little bit better, but just not a lot of precipitation is expected. Looking at liquid itself, it's not much. It's, it's remaining below a quarter inch, and it's pretty much confined to the foothills and uh, easternmost mountain ranges. So for the next seven days, 40s and 50s, not anything unusually warm or cold. Clouds now and then, a very tiny chance of snow showers or rain showers Thursday evening. And again, over the weekend into next week. Just not a lot to cover, so we'll wrap it up here. For more frequent weather updates, take a look at the Longmont Leader, longmontleader.com, and local Longmont News. This has been your weekly forecast. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Unsworth. Keep looking up.